Hi everyone, it's Jess aka Colouring Bumblebee and I'm back today with another video for you. Today I am sharing with you all the pages I found for my Lulu Way Scavenger Hunt November 2024. I will be going through and showing you all the pages I found for the four prompts I came up with for this month. Those prompts are, and I will show the infographic on the screen, Moon, Hedgehog, Teacup, and squirrel slash chipmunk <laughs> because I thought Lulu Maya would have a bunch of squirrels and she doesn't. I went through all my books. There are two books I have which didn't have any of the prompts in. That's the mermaids and sloths. And I only found three pages with squirrels on and I thought, what? I could have sworn she's a big squirrel person, <laughs> but apparently not. Um, so I changed it to squirrel slash chipmunk slash there's some rodents that I'm not quite sure what, what they are. You could say they're a squirrel or a chipmunk. I'm not going to be the squirrel police in this house. <laughs> so I will move my books to the side and we will go through prompt by prompt. Starting off today with the kawaii tarot book. And I am going to start with the prompt moon, these yellow flags. We have the high priestess here. She is sat on this beautiful moon. I have already coloured this one. Whenever I come back to do these Lulu Mayo prompt videos, I think I need to get back to colouring these. Because I got to base in the Hierophant and I haven't got any further. And I was sort of trying to do one a month. And I fell off the bandwagon a bit with a lot of buddy colours, so I haven't had the time. We have the moon in the Hanged Man. Love that page. I just, every time I see a Lulu Maya moon, I want to do it in shiny metallic watercolour. Don't know about you guys. We have the moon, which obviously has a moon. This is really cute. With all these flying fish at the bottom. And then we had one in the Minor Arcana, the Two of Swords, this owl sitting on the moon. Super cute. That's Kawaii Taro. And then a million cute animals. We have this page of the two owls looking absolutely adorable, snuggled next to each other with the moon in the background. I say it's a moon, it could be a sun, but I don't know, something about it being just a large sphere. Makes me think it's a moon, whereas Lulu Mayer tends to do her sun with loads of rays going around it. And then we have this page, which I've already coloured. The fox and raccoon having a little dance party on the moon. I added a lot of shiny metallic watercolour to this page. I remember when I first finished this page, I hated how it looked. Now I look back at it, I think it's really cute. It was the colour scheme, I didn't like the red, orange, yellow, but now I like it. Oh, there's one more right at the back here. The little owl family sitting on a branch in the moonlight. I love this fish. I've seen this done so many times. It's always beautiful. That is a million cute animals. Then a million little monsters. We have a bunch of monster creatures sitting on a moon here. We've got a lot of these crescent moons in this book. Here's another one. Got them sitting on the crescent moon. It's just sort of an icy page. And I think you could say that this is a moon or a planet. You could colour it as a moon though. With the unicorn. I think these look really lovely with uh, matching colour palettes. And then we have the creatures sat on another moon here with all these asteroids surrounding them. A lot of fun ones in a million cute, a million little monsters, not cute monsters, little monsters. Then a million puppies. There is this page here of them all snuggled up together on the moon. We've got the gnomes and puppies and bunnies. So cute, that one. 
It's the only one that I found in this book. Million Puppies. And then the book with all the moons. <laughs> There's a lot of moons in a million magical creatures. In fact, there is one on the cover here. The fox playing the guitar on the moon. We have this page here with the... Let's see, what creature is that? Some creatures by Lunar May, you're just like, what is that? It's got a unicorn horn, a kind of like raccoon tail, but kind of like dog-like ears. Kind of a bunnyish, is it a bunny? I don't know. <laughs> Lily Mayo, please tell us what these animals are. We've got this moon here. We've got a moon on both of these pages here. One in the sky here. I love that page with the dragons and the names winding them. And then we've got this crescent moon here with the little monster on this thing. got this double page spread with the crescent moon acting as a boat for them down the river. Very mystical, magical page that one. We have a moon in the night sky of this witch page. I've seen this done in so many different colour palettes this year so it's a lovely page and that one as well. Lots of people have coloured this page this year. And I just haven't had the time, unfortunately. And then we have this page here, which I started in September for my prompt fox. And I never got around to finishing it. This is actually a buddy colour with Steph, Steph Louise Argyle over on Instagram. If you're watching this, Steph, I am planning on finishing this month. Sorry, I've been keeping you waiting, but I've just been so busy with buddy colours. Um, trying to get round to all of them and trying to catch up a bit. I've got a few fewer planned for November so hopefully I'll be caught up soon. So those are all the moon pages from A Million Magical Creatures. Then moving on to Hedgehog. There are a lot of hedgehogs in Luna Mayer's books. In fact we have some on the front cover here that you can colour there. I just, oh, her hedgehogs are really, really cute. So we have these hedgehogs hiding in the flowers here. Some around there. Like this creature, like what is that? Ambiguous rodent is what I'm calling it. Because it's got a fluffy tail. But what's the face? I just, I don't know, mouse? No, mouses don't have tails like that. Could be a chipmunk. But anyway, this page goes for the prompt hedgehog, so it doesn't matter <laughs> if you class it as um, squirrel slash chipmunk slash rodent. We have this page here. I love this one with all the autumn leaves, the little mice snuggling up to the hedgehogs. We have a couple of little hedgehogs down here. Lulu Mayo tends to put hedgehogs sort of at the bottom or hiding in her pages, so sometimes they can be tricky to spot, but I did my best when flicking through these. I love this page with the hedgehog family. This is even a two for one prompt as you got teacup here. Super adorable. Then we have the hedgehogs here, <laughs> they're in a little band playing the drums and the little tambourine shakery thing. As I said, sometimes they're tricky to spot. But those are all the ones from A Million Baby Animals. Then a few in A Million Sweet Things. We have a little hedgehog peeking out the backpack here. I know quite a few people coloured this page for September as it went for the pencil slash pen prompt. We have a hedgehog trying on a hat here. Super cute. Oh, and there's even one on top of the hat. <laughs> That's a million sweet things. And a million puppies. 
we have a couple of hedgehogs on this intro page. We have a hedgehog holding a heart there and a couple hiding by the mushrooms down at the bottom. They just have the cutest little faces, don't they? Where are they here? Aha, yeah. Hedgehogs are here. Right, surrounding these biscuits at the bottom. And then we have, oh gosh, it's like hide and seek this. Here it is, hedgehog on the cake platter. And then we have three hedgehogs sitting on top of the dog's flower crown there. Super, super cute. That is a million puppies. A million little monsters. I found one in this one with the hedgehog. Oh my gosh, where is it? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dressed up as a little, with some little devil horns almost there. Adorable. A million little monsters. Then a million cute animals. We've got a hedgehog sitting here. One's holding a cherry. One's just chilling. We have a couple here in the biscuit tin. And one on this page with all the ice creams. And we have one travelling along the river here. We've got sort of this band going along the river. He's holding a microphone. He's the main singer. Love that one. But it would be quite limited with your colour palette. Lots of blues on this one. But it would be nice and relaxing to do, I think. It's a million cute animals. Back to Kawaii Tamari. We have a little hedgehog hiding up in the plant pot up top here. We have the hedgehog front and centre as the queen of wands on this page. I absolutely adore this page. One that I've been saving to do. We have lots of hedgehogs on the ten of coins, hanging around, having a party with all the cakes. Those are all the ones from Kawaii Taro. And I'm going to keep this book out and move straight on to Teacup. We have teacups here on the Wheel of Fortune. This is such a fun page. I love that one. And we have a cactus growing out of a teacup for the Five of Wands. And then we have the Ace of Cups with these birds. It kind of reminds me of Cinderella, the helping birds. Pouring the tea into the teacup here. And the page of cups with the little, I want to say otter creature, or it could be a beaver, chilling in the teacup with all the waves. That would be a quick and easier one to do. That is Kawaii Taro. Then in a million llamas. We have a bunch of teacups in the middle here. It's like a fun fair, this, like a tea party fun fair. We have this large teacup here with two llamas having a drink of beer, it looks like. All these birds flying out of it. Oh, and we have a teacup hanging on the shelf here. And then we have this almost Alice in Wonderland-esque page with all the teacups stacked up, higgledy-piggledy, and the teapot spurting into the tea. Oh, and another one on this page. <laughs> so that's a million llamas. And then a million puppies. We have... A whole tea party on this page. And where is the teacup? 
You're probably shouting at the screen at me. Where is it? Aha! Here! <laughs> this, <clears throat> what looks to be ambiguous rodent, <laughs> sitting in the teacup. So you could count this as a two-for-one prompt. We have a bunch of teacups on this page. Super busy double page spread if you're wanting a challenge. And then we have this page with teacup down the bottom here and a teacup on this page as well with this kind of carousel design. Gorgeous from a million puppies. A million cute animals. We have this large teacup here with the otters having a little chill inside there. I love that page from a million cute animals. A million little monsters, a few in this one. We have this stacked teacup, almost cafe house situation here. That's a really fun page. I love this one in the book. And some creatures hiding out, having a little snuggle inside the teacup here. This one gives me Alice in Wonderland vibes with all the uh, playing card suits around the bottom and the animals playing that maybe a game of hide and seek. I'm trying to hide under this teacup here. And that is Million Little Monsters. And a million baby animals. We have a teacup here with like what are these creatures? I don't know. I've been calling these all like ambiguous rodents, but if you know what they are, do let me know in the comments below. But I would count that as um, sort of a chipmunk slash squirrel. The only thing I will say is for that prompt, no mice, because that is a prompt coming up. Wink, wink. Then we move on to the prompt squirrel slash chipmunk. We have one on the front cover here and a chipmunk guy. So you can color that one. We have these little guys down the bottom here. And see this I think is a skunk. I think that one's a skunk because it's got like a stripe down its back. And then we have this one, of course, with the squirrel. Or is it chipmunk? I don't know. Um, and two for one prompt. We've got some hedgehogs down the bottom as well. Love that page. Seen it done many times. Always looks stunning. It's a million baby animals. A million cute animals. We have the squirrels chilling on the houseplant. I would love to finish this this year. So I am going to pop a page flag in that actually. So all I need to do is find a colour combo for the plants, for the leaves, and I'll be done. We have the chipmunks feasting on some berries here, and we've got all sorts of fruits and veggies. It's a really fun page, that one. We have these chipmunks. Look at that giant nut in its mouth. <laughs> so adorable. And we have... Chipmunk here, again with a peanut in this gnome Picasso kind of page. There's a million cute animals and a million puppies. We have squirrels up top here, or are they chipmunks? Not sure, but those work for the prompt. And we've got this guy down here as well. See, looking at the face, that looks kind of hedgehoggy, but then the tail, something different, like, what is it meant to be? Help. <laughs> we have, oh, some little chipmunk guys gnawing on some treats here. And then we have some chipmunk guys at the top of this page. Um, 
Are these going to be squirrels? I don't know. I just don't know. That's a million puppies. And finally, the Kwai Taro. We have one in here. And that is the page of coins, which I've already coloured. I love this page. And I had a lot of fun colouring it. So those are all of my prompts for the month of November. I will put the details in the description and I will pop the hashtag on screen now. It is Lunar Mayo Scavenger Hunt November 24. So if you want to participate, colour a page in any of Lulu Mayo's colouring books that contain at least one of these prompts. It can contain multiple, but it needs to be from a Lulu Mayo book and contain one of the prompts. The squirrel slash chipmunk one is kind of up for interpretation. <laughs> if you find something and think it looks like a squirrel or a chipmunk or a rodent that's not a mouse, go for it, colour it. I'm not going to come for you if, it, <laughs> if it's not actually one. It, um, some of these creatures are kind of difficult to distinguish. But I'm really looking forward to getting some pages done for this month. I haven't been colouring very many Lulu Mayo pages recently. But my randomizer picked out a couple of books. I've got a buddy colour planned in one of them. So I am looking forward to November. Let me know down in the comments if there are any pages you'd like to see me colour. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.